Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's Road. We're on the 31st episode and guys, thank you very much once again for the insane support you guys have been showing for the series. I really, really do appreciate it. It really does mean the world to me. Now in today's episode, my friends, we are going to be going ahead and making ourselves an automatic cactus farm. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. This build here is going to be a fully automatic cactus farm factory of awesomeness. And we're going to try and make it look sort of all industrial on the exterior as well as being functional on the interior. So as you can see, we've got ourselves the entrance going on here. And then what's going to happen is we're going to have ourselves maybe a bunch of storage chests here. This is going to be sort of the separator. And then we're going to have ourselves a bunch of uh, little cactus pods inside of here, uh, which will produce ourselves a bunch of cactus as we go along. So so yeah, this should be pretty interesting, but before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, we actually have the comment question of the video uh, coming from Scarhoof Plays, who says this, so is the iron farm working now? You told us you put more villagers in, but didn't say if it's making golems. Absolutely right, I completely forgot to actually show you guys the fact that this thing is working now there are indeed four villagers in each pod now and it is producing a good amount of iron ingots which is very very nice so as you can see we've got 10 in there we've got 26 poppies but that's not the only amount of iron we have now we've got all of this iron as well so if i was to convert this back into ingots this is the actual supply we have which is very very nice so yeah slowly but surely we are getting ourselves a very very nice supply of iron ingots which is very nice now the intention is when we advance eventually take down the wither boss we will hopefully have ourselves the entire supply of iron blocks to be able to make ourselves a tier 4 beacon because that would be very very nice so yeah anyways so we need to go ahead and figure out a little bit of a design for this thing i already have the design for the actual cactus farm in mind because it's well it, it's a cactus farm it's very very easy to do it really is so 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 so, so do i actually have cacti over here i got a feeling i don't no Okay, well, there's going to be some back at uh, Flora Valley. In fact, I know there's some back at Flora Valley because I remember putting some away there back uh, back when, you know, a fair way back. So, yeah. Anyways, what I need in order to get this farm going is I actually need myself a bunch of signs. So, let's go ahead. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm destroying my own little house. There we go. So, I need to go ahead and grab myself a bunch of signs. Uh, I'm not actually entirely sure how many I'm going to need. Oh, we've already got a stick here. Brilliant. All right. Well, might as well use it, right? So, that's three signs. Uh, maybe a couple more bunches of signs, something like that. Uh, or something like that. Yeah, why not? Okay, brilliant stuff. Uh, let's get you placed in there. And then we've got all of this wood here as well. Uh, we don't want to clog up our inventory too much. But uh, yeah, guys, what I need to go and do is I need to head back to Flora Valley. I need to go ahead and uh, bring myself out some uh, some cacti. And then we can actually get this farm underway. It's very, very simple design. One that you guys can very easily follow with me on camera to, to make yourself. So yeah, let me get the resources and we'll make a bit of a start. Oh, well, would you look at that? There's the iron farm in action. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so there's one ingot in here so far. I'm pretty sure these guys drop anywhere between three and five iron ingots at any one time. Uh, hey, we got four from that one. Not bad, not bad. Well, there's your proof that this thing is indeed now working. Fantastic stuff. Right, I've got the cacti I need. So let's just head to sleep real quick and we will make a bit of a start on this thing. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. So, yes. All right. Oh, ugh. That was weird. A bit of lag going on there. Oh, hello there, sir. Ha, boom! What? You didn't die from that? That was insane. Freaking dude. Right, there we go. Ooh, gunpowder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's where the horse has gone. You know what? I kept hearing him making noises all over the place, but I could not figure out for the life of me where he is. He's right there. He's right there. Okay, well, uh, yeah, he's now trapped in a cave, but uh, he shouldn't He shouldn't get killed. There's no reason why he should get killed by anything. So, uh, I need to go ahead and figure out some various logistics. I am actually going to need some of that iron because I need myself a bunch of hoppers to make a hopper line. So, if I was to go ahead and grab myself out of one of those, and uh, actually, we're going to need ourselves probably a little bit more as well. Uh, something like that. And then I need myself a few chests to make a few hoppers. 
And we go. All right. And believe it or not, I'm pretty sure that's all we need aside from just some regular chests themselves for the storage of the cactus. So let's go ahead and uh, get over here. And we need to try and figure out how this is going to work. So how this is going to work. I mean, uh, I need some I need some building materials. Do you know what? I thought I was more prepared than this, but uh, apparently not. Right. Uh, 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 I need some stuff out, man. Just stuff. I just need stuff. Yes, okay, cool. Right, temporarily, we're just going to put down some cobblestone blocks because we're going to need a bit of a wall going on here. This is going to be a five block wide gap type thing. So yeah, you're going to walk in. It's going to be a little thing here. There's going to be a few chests at the end here and then away we go. So let's actually do this thing. So what we need to do, first of all, is we need to figure out where these... Oh, no. This is an even number. Ah. This is a problem. I'm going to need to widen this. I'm going to need to... No. We can't work with odd numbers for this one. It just won't work. It just flat out won't work. So, yeah. All right. Let's do this. We're going to widen it a little bit. There we go. So, there we go. We've got one pod, two, three, four, five, and six. So, that's how the cacti is going to be spaced out. And then, basically, what's going to happen is all of the cacti is going to go down to one central spot. In fact, I don't even think it needs to go down to one central spot. I think we could get away with having it go to, like, over here. And then, the hopper line comes under here. And then, the output chest is like right here right and then we should be able to get something cool going on here so i could put the chest down there and just because you know ocd let's get a little bit of cobblestone placed in under here so there we go and then we can get the hoppers place them in like that and that should be just about it we can place down this cobblestone once again and yeah right now we need to try and figure out the water flow that shouldn't be too difficult hopefully but what we do need to make sure is the idea that there is a gap underneath all of these because the water Obviously, it needs to flow. So, yes. All right. Brilliant. So, the next thing I need to do is I'm just going to replace the floor real quick. Make it all nice and uniform. And then we'll try and experiment with the water flow of this thing. Hopefully, it goes all the way over to that corner. But if not, then uh, I should hopefully be able to do a little bit of trickery to make it do that. I'm not actually entirely sure. But uh, we'll figure it out as we go along. All right. So, let's get this place down. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, that's not going over, is it? Okay. Ugh. Right, that could be an issue, potentially. What if I was to go ahead and place that in like that? And we're going to need ourselves a little bit more. Something like this. So if that now does that... Oh, it nearly gets there. It nearly gets there, guys. Okay, what if I do boom, 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 boom. And then place that back in like that. Okay, so that's now going over to the correct area. So yeah. Anything that falls down here now should all wind up going down there. Okay, brilliant. So believe it or not, that's that all done. So let's go ahead and start placing in the sand here. Of course, the cacti is going to be going on top of this. But what we need to do in the meantime is we need to place down a couple bits of stone. So we need to do it up here like that. And then all we need to do is we need to place down some signs, okay? So the idea is the signs are going to make the cacti pop off. And because it isn't like a full block, the cacti should wind up falling in the water. So, yeah, that should be all good. Uh, that's already good. So let's go ahead and do this, and then this, and then this. Okay, and then we can get rid of that block right there. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually the farm done. So every single time... This, uh, every, every single time the cacti grows, it will just pop off. It will literally just pop off and then away we go. So, yeah. Brilliant stuff. So, believe it or not, that is the functional part of this thing done. Let me just try and experiment with the water flow real quick. Oh. Oh, that is an issue. Oh, wait, no, it is moving. Ah, oh, okay. So, what if I just chuck it down in that corner? Is that actually going to move? It's not moving, is it? Ah. Yeah. That's not working very well. Um, I'm not even entirely sure how to fix this one without messing things up, like, all mightily so. I mean, the only way we can do it is by doing that. I mean, yeah, I mean, it still works, doesn't it? It just doesn't look that great. But, you know, functionally speaking, again, you know, this thing is up and running and it is pretty much perfect. So, yeah. Alrighty, so I need to go and get myself a bunch of building materials because we're going to try and make this thing look good. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get something good going.
Alrighty guys, so I'm trying to make the best use of the space I have available to me. I decided to go ahead and use a, a culmination of uh, polished andesite, cobblestone, uh, cobblestone walls, and of course regular stone slabs. And I think I've got something pretty good going here. I think I've got a nice little system going on. Uh, all we got to do is just keep going with it though, and uh, hopefully we can make a little bit better of a judgment for it once it is actually done. So let's get you placed in there. We need to get... Some glass in there, and then some more glass in there. Okay, looking good so far. Oh, my uh, my food's running a little bit low, man. What the heck? Right, okay, so how's it looking so far? Not too bad. Not too bad, in all honesty. I think we're going to need ourselves some glass blocks, though. I'm almost convinced of it, in fact. Uh, do we actually have any? No, we don't. We've got regular glass blocks, but we actually need proper proper glass blocks. The reason being is because if we don't, then there is always the possibility. In fact, talking to that, we've got like panes here and all sorts. Ah. Okay. Right. This is going to be a little bit annoying because in order for this to be a lossless farm, all of these panes here actually need to be glass blocks. Otherwise, the cactus bits can get stuck on the ledges and therefore they won't actually go anywhere. Ooh, ah, hmm. Okay, right. So we're going to need to sacrifice aesthetic for functionality, aren't we? Not a big fan of doing that in all honesty, but you know, like I say, we're trying to make the best of the space we have to work with, but... I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we will have to sacrifice efficiency for aesthetic because I really do want this place to look good. Because, I don't know, I don't know. I, I just feel... I, I'm proud like that, okay? I want the place to look good. I don't want it to just look like, you know, a trash heap. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go to sleep and I will carry on making the build and we'll see what we can come up with. Alrighty, guys. So, it turns out I may have gotten a little bit carried away. I've actually made quite a lot of progress here. As you can see, we, we've gone for pretty much the same sort of style as this one here. Uh, but, you know, we've got the addition of the polished andesite as well. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. But, yeah, we've got the white stained glass in conjunction with the stone slabs and as a result I think this looks good I think it looks good I think I'm all right with this uh, we just need to figure out the roof and of course the little separator area type thing uh, let me just pop up here real quick and then we can get the roof section done real quick now as you can see I've already placed in some glowstone so we can keep the rooftop illuminated because you know this is flat roof you know there's there's always the possibility that if it was dark hostile mobs could spawn and they could mess things up so as you can see light levels are all perfect Perfectly well and good. Let's go ahead and place in the stone slabs. And then I think we're just about good to go in terms of the roof. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, okay. That's looking good. That's looking good. I'm alright with this. We've also got the little entrance way sorted out. I've got an item frame with a cactus inside it. So you guys know what's going on. And, uh, yeah, just all in all, this thing is starting to look good. Right, I kind of tempted to uh, check on the iron supplies real quick, just to see if anything else has come down. Yeah, look at that, a little bit more. A little bit more for the Pythonator. That's looking good. Hell yeah. Alrighty, so I have been hearing some little bits of cacti pop off every now and again. Maybe we should check on the supply of that as well. Uh, hey, not bad, not bad. I mean, we did actually have ourselves already, you know, some of the cactus left over from before. You know, I think five bits. We had 12 bits. We used six for this and then one for the item frame. So, yeah, we've had five more bits come out of this so far just as I've been building it, eh? That's not bad, is it? That is not bad. All right, so, uh, ah, have we not got any glass left? Oh, man, have we actually run out? That would actually kind of suck if so. Oh, man. Let me just go check the chest. Maybe I put some away. Yeah, I did put some away. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so let's go put, put these bad boys in, and then we're just about good to go. I'm hoping I've got enough as well. Yeah, I've got enough. Okay, fantastic. Right. Turns out this, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> Th this entire build is now done. This entire build is now done, and light levels inside are all looking good. We don't even have any space to go ahead and uh, place down any, like, flower pots or anything like that. Oh, we need to fix this up real quick. Um, maybe we just put in some of that. Yeah, and then maybe we could go ahead. Uh, if we have any left, do we have any stone brick stairs? Uh, we could probably go and make some. I just want to sort of smooth out the inside real quick. Uh, yep, just a little bit more is needed. Boop, there we go. We could probably get away with putting down a crafting table in that little place as well. Just in case things go wrong. And also, we're, we're probably going to need ourselves like a furnace of some description, aren't we? Uh, oh, there's the stone bricks. All right. Uh, yeah, we'd... Oh, and there's the stone brick stairs. Well, there we go. Apparently, I'm just really, really unorganized at the moment. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, I think a rainbow shulker box system is going to be in order for our storage later down the line. Then if you guys can remember that from Python, was it Python? No, it was my Minecraft survival world of old. So, yeah. But there we go. Everything's looking good. Might as well chuck some chests on top. You know, as a bit of a overflow kind of deal. So, yeah, that's all looking all right. And, yeah. This place is pretty much done. We have ourselves a fully automatic cactus farm. This is the simplest design you can get. And it works absolutely fine and dandy, as you guys have been noticing. Yep, another bit has just gone in there. Brilliant stuff. All right, so, yeah. Uh, thing is, we need to think of something else to do now. Because, honestly, that took absolutely nowhere near as much time as I thought it would. So, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, all is good though, my friends. All is good. Look at this place though. Look at it. It's looking good, isn't it? It's not looking bad. It's not looking bad at all. I'm actually quite happy with how this uh, industrial district is turning out so far. We definitely need to try and do something with the with the floor here. Make it seem a little bit more interesting. Uh, I'm thinking maybe putting down some regular andesite to sort of sort of break it up a little bit i'm not entirely sure i'm not entirely sure do we even have some andesite uh no uh not unless we have some in here wow we've got three bits to work with okay right maybe we could put one in there put one in there and then put one over here maybe make this place seem a little more interesting uh polished andesite would that work in here uh i'm not entirely sure if i'm honest with you guys I mean, all we could do is, like, continue, like, randomly placing in some of these little bits here. And then uh, we can have a bit better of a look to see how it's looking. All right, so there we go. A little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Yeah, okay, I think I'm all right with that. I just need some more regular andesite and then the way we go, Mr. Zomble. Everything's looking good and you are not welcome around here, sir. Go on, get out of here. All right, so we've got the automatic cactus farm going. And, yeah, I just need to try and figure out what the next thing to do is. All right, folks, so as you can see, we've got a couple of furnaces put in here. We've got the crafting table put in as well. So, you know, when the cactus actually does come out, we can smelt it up into the dye if we need to. And then uh, away we go. So, the next thing I would like to do in today's episode is I actually want to go ahead and lessen the amount of leaves that we have around here. Now, as you can see, we've got a bunch of leaves going on here with all these sort of bush type things. And, uh, yeah, I am starting to agree with a lot of you guys when, when you say, you know, that there's a little bit too much green around here. So... That's why what I'm going ahead and doing now is removing a little bit of the greenery and uh, putting in some trapdoors in its place. Because, you know, trapdoors still offer a nice amount of depth to build, right? So I really don't see a reason why it shouldn't therefore be okay. So let's go ahead and carry on. So we've got to go over to this, uh, this side over here. Oh! Oh, Mr. Gollum's getting wrecked again. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, we all good though. We all good. Let's carry on though. So we've got a trapdoor there. We're gonna have ourselves another trapdoor just here, and then of course we need to roll around here. Let's have one in there, and hopefully, uh, once again, we're kind of going for the less is more tactic. Hopefully that will indeed apply here. We're gonna keep that one there because we're sort of, you know, keeping this thing cordoned off, so that's totally fine. But you know, when we get to over here, we can go and put some trapdoors down again. So let's just get rid of that one. And get you placed down, and then let's get you placed down as well. Do the same with you, and yeah, that one's on top of a cauldron, so that is all fine and dandy. So, uh, in my opinion, I think that's made this place look a little more tidy, a little more sort of, a little more maintained, if you will. I'm rather a fan of this, so yeah, hopefully you guys are okay with it as well, because yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm trying to satisfy my need to put greenery in, but I'm also trying to satisfy you guys by not putting in too much, because like I say, this is supposed to be like a sort of modern slash contemporary slash clean looking industrial settlement. I don't want it to be all sort of cracked and broken up and awful looking like it's made 50 years ago. Like, I want to make it look like it's only just been made, so yeah. As a result, I think this place is looking pretty decent with what we got going on so yeah i'm pretty happy Alrighty, guys and to finish off today's episode let's go ahead and do a little bit of work on the fences here as you can see this is where it came up to before let's go ahead and do a little bit of an extension because why not why not it's about that time isn't it so uh let's go ahead and start with the redstone lamps let's get these placed down because it's night time as well we can go ahead and see these things in action as we go along, which is pretty cool. So, let's get you placed in there. And we've got the iron bars as the final element. Let's get them placed in. And one in there. 
a little bit in there, and then away we go. All right, so there we go. The pathway is extended just a little bit more. Well, the railing, to be specific, is extended a little bit more. Now, one thing I haven't really thought about is how I'm going to be going ahead and separating this side off. I'm not entirely sure. I could potentially just go ahead and uh, use some iron bars rather like that. But I'm not so sure. I'm honestly not so sure. I I may need... I mean, to be honest, I think that looks pretty good. Just flat out iron bars, you know? All right, I've got some more ingots in here. Let's go ahead and give it a quick shot. Uh, let's go to sleep as well, because why not? Ah, love the Minecraft music, man. Ah, oh, I love the Minecraft music. I really do. It's so soothing. It really is so soothing. Like, when I when I used to have a, a full-time job as a web designer, I used to... I'm not even kidding here. I used to listen to the Minecraft soundtrack just while I worked because it really was that soothing. And, uh, you know, m music's good like that. Music can do that to you. It, it can make you feel things, and it's really, really cool. So, yeah. But anyways, there we go. Uh, how's it looking now? I think it's looking pretty decent. I think it's looking pretty decent. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of enjoying it so far. Just the segregation from the pathway towards the actual builds themselves. Uh, let's go and check on the supplies in there again. Hey, looking good. All right, so we've got 12 more. Let's go ahead and make those into bars. And then we can quickly, just to finish off, get the rest of these bars placed in. Now, obviously, guys, if you guys want to send in your suggestions for a little, uh, you know, railing designs or anything like that, then, uh, you know, please don't hesitate to do that because I'd be very interested, as always, to, to hear what you guys have to say but uh, for now i'm just uh, i'm just going with this i'm going with the flow and yeah hopefully everything should be fantastic and there's the start of the road and everything's looking good well, ladies and gentlemen, a bit of a, a bit of a more calm episode today. We've got the automatic cactus farm going. We've got a few little, you know, a few little tidbits around here. We've got some floor decorations going. We've got the railings going. We've extended this railing along a little bit. So, yeah, just all in all, these little jobs are going to sort of conjoin together and become one big massive thing, isn't it? It's going to be awesome, guys. It really, really is. So, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I think it's going to be time to end this particular episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating. It'll really help out myself, the channel, and the video very, very much. And it means the lot to me if you did that. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. But, uh, yeah, the industrial settlement is starting to take shape. I'm very, very happy with it. And I hope you guys are as well. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.